and all the pitching decisions and the guys that came in and the way they threw it had a ripple effect on everything and certainly on the plans for Saturday because you heard him say he wanted to stay away from Luis Sessa. Ultimately, he could not do that. So Sessa will not make the start on Saturday. What would be some of the options? I think the option that is looming as the one that is the chief option I would think is Chance Adams from AAA because he also said he didn't believe it would be someone who is currently on the 25-man roster so that eliminates Sonny Gray who would be pitching on short rest even though only only threw 57 pitches in his last outing you see what Adams has done recently Bob those are good numbers in his last start he took a no-hitter into the seventh inning had the chance to talk to Adams in spring training about his repertoire and he was trying to develop that third pitch develop that changeup got off to a slow Low start this season, but as we said, the numbers are better. And then one more thing to throw in as a piece of evidence, when Brian Cashman, the general manager, was on Michael Kay's radio show this afternoon, he spoke about how much he likes Adams and also talked about him as an option going forward. Now, Brian didn't know what was going to happen tonight, but he had already mentioned him as an option before this lopsided loss. And, of course, the other thing I should mention, Adams is in turn. Justin Sheffield is not. Adam's next turn is Saturday, so he would slide right in to his regular turn in the rotation. Well, Cash in talking to Michael also mentioned, because Michael asked him about Justice Sheffield, is he ready yet? And Cash loves everything they're doing, and they fielded plenty of phone calls on Justice Sheffield before the trade deadline. But he loves his stuff. I think he still just needs, needs a little more polishing. Yeah, you look at that bottom number, Bob, and a lot of those numbers look good. It's the walks that don't look good, and the walks are because of command. And the Yankees do love Justice Sheffield, and I still think that he will be recalled at some point in 2018 and have a chance to have an impact. But I think it's the command of his pitches that is one thing the Yankees would like to see him tighten up. You can get in a lot of trouble in a lot of ways at the major league level. One way you have to avoid getting in trouble is by giving free passes they don't want to bring Sheffield up here just yet because they'd like to see him get a little better command of the strike zone look at tonight as an example that fourth inning how did it start a leadoff walk Holder walks JBJ Jackie Bradley jr. and things just unravel from there all right speaking of Holder